Here's a quick video to show how I mounted my Taro 2D gimbal on a DJI Phantom with a quick release system. Some people have come up with systems. I wasn't willing to pay for some of the systems I've seen and wasn't sure others would stay on in flight. Here's how I did it. I decided that the best quick release out there was what the actual GoPro camera used. So I took the GoPro quick release mount. These come with sticky uh, adhesives on the back to stick to surfaces on boats or airplanes or whatever and I took the adhesive off, drilled a couple screws and mounted it on the bottom of the DJI Phantom. And then I took the fem uh, male portion of that mount and I modified it and screwed it to a piece of carbon fiber. This piece is somewhat long because I'm hoping to put an FPV transmitter out here at the back, hanging out the back of the craft. But it is bolted to that mounting plate, and then that mounting plate is is secured to the DJ or to the Taro gimbal using the stud mounting uh, posts. And hopefully we're going to see this work okay in flight. Still have to do some tests on it. But that means that I can put it on and take it off fairly quickly. And here's, here's the simple, uh, I guess, hard to do with one hand. Here's the simple way to mount this. Turn it upside down. Align it with the mount click and there it is if anyone's been running this system you know that one of the problems with it is it took a long time to put on and remove the taro gimbal from the craft if you wanted to change mounts or wanted to fly without uh, risking uh, an expensive camera and a gimbal so that's how I solve this problem and uh, I have my gimbal control mounted on a through piece right here on the side. There's my gimbal control and then I have a JST sticking out the back for the uh, power to the gimbal which uh, plugs in right there and the reason I have it coming through rather than hanging out is because I wanted to put a switch so I could power up the craft and not turn on the gimbal till I was I was ready. So I'll uh, post again when I do some tests to figure out if the mount is, uh, is as good as a solid mount I had before. But I just used GoPro's idea and its fittings, modified them to hold the GoPro onto the bottom of a DJI Phantom. And the, the other neat thing about this is that I can grab other... Uh, GoPro mounts like this one which has the click-in bayonet fitting and I can simply mount the original waterproof housing. I can mount the uh, the aftermarket anti-jello isolation mount that uh, I bought on eBay. Uh, I, can, I can also mount the simple naked frame that comes with the DJI Phantom for the uh, original GoPro. So there's a number of options there. Thanks for watching.